This is for the error type of remote desktop certificate expired. For example, if you will click on this link, uh, you, if you will write here IP address of the server and then you will click on connect. Then if you will try to enter username password of the server of any username that is there on the server then it will show the error of remote desktop failure as you can see here this is the error the error is authentication certificate received from the remote uh, computer has expired or is not valid so we will here solve this error for using in windows 7 you will click on here and uh, you will go on the run monitor on the run screen and then you will write uh, mmc.exe or simply write mmc and press enter it will ask for administrative permissions make sure that you are having it then you will go in file add room snap in and from there you will select group policy editor let the menu come this is the module that we are looking for group policy object we will click on add and find, uh, press finish and press ok then in local computer uh, policy we will go in computer configuration we will go in administrative templates inside administrative templates we will go in windows components inside window components we will go in remote desktop services uh, there is there is wait a minute we have to find it out remote desktop services in remote desktop services we have to go to remote desktop session host and there we have to go to security there you can find the feature of require use of specific security layer for RTP connection so we will right click on it and we will click on edit and there we will go with enabled and, and enabled we will make sure that we select security layer as RTP uh, the default is negotiate which is the highest of the two so we will use RTP to connect to the thin client we will press apply and we will click on ok uh, after doing that we will restart the windows or we can simply uh, restart services so I'm gonna here show you to simply restart services in services you will go in remote desktop services and you will click or right click on it and then we will click on restart it will ask for some future services also so further services also so make sure that you select them as well yes So now your services are being restarted. So let's check it in the thin client if that is feasible or not. So we will now check again after configuring the server that uh, whether this configuration is working or not. So we will click here and we will click on connect. We will enter the same settings that we did earlier. And we will click on OK. This time it asks for a different screen, so that is a ghost shine. We will click on Don't Show for this message, and here we go. Here we are now connecting to remote desktop. And please note that I have not changed the uh, setting of date and time of the thin client earlier. Thank you for watching. Hope for more resolution there. Uh, one more thing for. 24-bit uh, color system if you want to enable 24-bit color system then you can find the same option there in administrative templates and uh, for enforce the desktop color depth for remote desktop session to 24-bit color only but that 24-bit color will work only with Windows XP or Windows 2003 or 2000 because 
Microsoft had discontinued 24-bit color support for Windows 7 2008 and its future version because now Microsoft 7 only supports Windows 7 only supports Windows 32-bit and 16-bit version. Thank you for watching.